Hello, I'm John McDonald. I'm an academic researcher and acupuncturist from the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. Uh, I have written an article for Journal of Chinese Medicine, issue 119, all about randomised control trials and why they're inappropriate for acupuncture research. The main reason for writing this is that uh, having been involved in teaching and research for quite a number of years, whenever I read research, I get frustrated that the research doesn't seem to be as good as the acupuncture that we see in our own clinics. One of the main reasons for this, I believe, is because of placebo controlled trials, which are not an appropriate research method for acupuncture. It's not an appropriate research method really for anything that's complex. So surgery, psychotherapy, acupuncture, we all have the same problem. It's very difficult to simulate acupuncture in a way that is credible, that people believe they're really having acupuncture and at the same time is completely inert. Psychiatry and surgery have the same problem. So what should we do? Well, comparative trials seem to be the best way to go. Compare acupuncture with other therapies, physiotherapy, chiropractic medications, and see how on each of these conditions, acupuncture as it's usually used, compares with other treatments as they're usually used. So uh, this article is suggesting that rather than go down the path of the randomized controlled trial, which after all is to measure single variables. That's the whole point. Which one thing made this treatment work? With a complex intervention, that really doesn't work very well at all because you have to try to control everything else and just measure that one thing. So uh, this article has generously been made available for free by the Journal of Chinese Medicine and I think it's a, a valuable thing for all practitioners to read so that they can understand why it is that the effects of acupuncture in research have often been underestimated.